up for sale at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2011 Cadillac SRX with only 38,000 miles, silver on the outside with gray leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory panoramic power moonroof, front and rear parking sensors, heated seats, chrome wheels, and a, num a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, uh, this vehicle also has a remote start. Let me go show you how that works. The car has to be locked, so let's lock it up. And you press and hold this little circle here on your key remote. This is a really neat option, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so with the AC, and it will cool down the car for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle. When the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just walk up to the vehicle, open the door, hit the push button start, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, come and press the circle, and the car turns right off. All right, uh, power tailgate. There's uh, three ways to open the power tailgate from the remote control, as I'm about to do. By squeezing the um, switch on the tailgate handle and by pressing the switch on the inside of the car, all uh, the car has to be unlocked for those to work. To close it, you can close it with the remote control, as I'm about to, uh, as I'm, as I'm, well, not, I'm not doing the remote. I'm going to press the button to show you where the other, the other way to close it is. But you can do it also from the remote or from the inside of the vehicle on the driver door panel. All right, let's lock up the car. This car has an intelligent tight key, I'm putting it in my pocket, and you don't need to um, take the key out of pocket for anything. When you walk up to the vehicle, it's going to sense that the key is nearby, and as soon as you go to pull on the handle, it unlocks the vehicle. The door panels are charcoal black on the top with gray here and wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors. Uh, this is your uh, tailgate switch here. And you got all uh, power folding mirrors that are controlled through here. You got automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. Manual tilt wheel. Illuminated kick plates. It's probably a little hard for you to see there, but they're illuminated they're like they illuminate like in a light blue or purple color. You got uh, dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. On the driver's side, you got memory for up to two drivers. You got curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now. So you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. You got leather wrap steering wheel with wood trimming. Let me go ahead and get inside the car and get it started for you. Okay, so now when you get inside, the vehicle is going to sense that the key is nearby. And all you got to do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. You don't have to hold the switch. All right, let's start off with the air conditioning. Lower the volume here. All right, uh, so there's your navigation. And first, of, and let's start off with the moonroof uh, so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. You got two switches up here. This one's for the shade, this one's for the moonroof. You can open the moonroof or tilt and vent it from the rear. Let's start off with the shade and it's one touch. You don't have to hold the switch, but you can stop it along the way anywhere you want. And as you can see, the panoramic power moonroof pretty much encompasses the whole roof of the vehicle. So it gives you a nice view. Uh, let's open it up. And same thing. Now the portion that opens is this portion. The rear portion does not open. That's just for you to look out of. All right. Okay. So now um, put the AC just a little bit cooler here. All right. Okay, now let's open up the front windows. Oh, the front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch, as you can see, for the window to go down. And because we got the tinted windows, we're going to go ahead and probably put them all down. That way we can uh, see a little better. All right. Um, okay, so 38,934 uh, miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. 
And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car's running and idling perfectly and that there are no chick engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only lights that you see down there uh, are the seatbelt lights because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video and also the uh, green light which is uh, General Motors daytime driving lights. All right, um, you get a manual, you get an automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode and we'll show you how that works. Reverse, by the way, when you put it on reverse, that's when you get your color backup camera with parking guidelines and that along with the uh, parking sensors in the front and rear bumper should help you avoid any accidents when um, parking or backing up the vehicle or parking it. Neutral, drive. Now if you want to make it shift manually, as you notice here, you just have the plus and minus sign here. Push it over to the left and uh, it's going to show you here sport mode on. Okay, and, um, and uh, when you tap it, you would tap the shifter up or down and it shows you over here, see M2. Okay, M3, and if I tap it down, it shifts down. Now, if that doesn't interest you, push the lever over to the right, and the uh, automatic transmission will do all the shifting uh, for you, okay? All right, so now let's put it back in park. Oh, you got storage behind here. All right, got an electronic parking brake. To engage it, you pull up on this. To disengage, you must step on the brake and push down on it. Um, this button here is to disable your traction control. Sorry, to disable your parking sensors. This one's to disable your traction control. You got a dual climate control. What I mean by that is, for example, I'm putting the passenger side at a 77 while the driver's side is a 73. Or actually, I'm going to lower that to maximum because it's warm today. And what that does is that makes the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 77 while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicle will blow a maximum low here. Let's go ahead and put them both down to maximum low because it's hot. All right. Um, all right, you get your heated seat option. Press it once for high, one more time for medium, one more time for low, and you press it again and it goes off. Uh, if you don't, if you don't need the, you don't want the screen up because you're, you're not using the navigation device, you can just push this here, and the screen hides away and gives you, lets you know what station you're in, and also has a summary of the outside temperature and the current time. Um, let's see here. Let's actually like, let's go listen. Let's listen to some music. So I'm gonna press the radio here. By the way, you have XM on this vehicle, although right now you have to sign up for the first subscription. Right now it's on preview mode. AM, back to FM. And now you can raise the volume right here. Lower the volume here. Mute it here. Um, once you pair your phone to your Bluetooth, you're going to use this button to hang up and this one to, uh, to pick up the phone. And if you hold this one down, it'll access your voice commands. This one here is to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set yourself, which of course can be changed. Uh, cruise control on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. This vehicle does have the Bose stereo sound system. You get up here, you get an auto dimming rear view mirror that has the sensor up in the top that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial of OnStar at no cost to you. And let me tell you what the most important things that OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including this side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, uh, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which in this car is nearly impossible because of the intelligent key, remember the key's still in my pocket, all right? But if you happen to lock somehow lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. This button here is for um, your power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you about three or four inches, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Let's finish up with the OnStar because it has this few more things that it does for you. For example, if you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with your emergency. If you lost any directions, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. Uh, if your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on, uh, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, tell you how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com. Okay, well, we're up in the top here. This is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. You got your map lights over here, dome lights here. Uh, I already talked to you about the sunroof and the shade switches. 
Um, you got cup holders here in the center, and you got um, uh, uh, here where you rest your elbow. You got storage. So this is for your top tier. This one here is for your bottom tier. The top tier is just small, not much room there for anything. The bottom tier is a little deeper, and down in there you have a cigarette lighter adapter, uh, the round cap, and then you got a USB port and auxiliary port for your iPod. Your main glove box is over here. All right. All right, I think we're pretty much done with the front here. Let's go ahead. Oh, uh, I told you you got power folding mirrors. All right. All right, so, uh, okay, so now, to turn off the vehicle, simply press the stop button, start stop button. The key is in my pocket. Now, uh, there are several settings with the key. This one, this key fob has been programmed so that when you walk away from the vehicle, the vehicle locks. I'll show you. I left the windows open, but that has really no bearing on um, on the uh, on the demonstration of the of the key fob. Okay, I don't know if you notice how it locked up. I'm not going to get too close, but see the key it, it, it locked up and it uh, beeped. So now to open it up, just pull up on the handle. It senses the keys nearby and it lets you open it up. All right, let's go to the middle row section of the vehicle here. The rear door panels are the same as in the front. Charcoal with the light gray here with the wood trimming. By the way, this vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection, and I forgot to show you that earlier. It's, um, where is it? It's this button right here, okay? Um, if you press that once, it'll uh, activate the child lock, and you press it again, it'll deactivate. And these are your power locks, your hazards, and uh, pretty much the rest is just the radio operations. And I already showed you the navigation screen button, which is the one that was on the left. All right. Um, uh, in the back of the center console, you have AC vents for the middle row passengers, another cigarette lighter adapter, and that, that opens up down there into storage. Uh, these buttons here are to indicate to you that you have anchors here for your baby car seat. And um, you got current side airbags back here as well. Uh, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder and armrest. And it also has storage and it has access to the uh, cargo area back there through here. Okay, you got the factory floor mats in this vehicle. Uh, let's see here. Give you another look at the headliner and the power moonroof here so you can see it's in great shape. All right, um, this is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. There is no third row seat on these SRXs. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed anyway, they're nice and clear. Let's go ahead and open up back here. Now, there's a switch in here. When you squeeze it uh, and the vehicle's unlocked, the tailgate will open up. All right, this is your cargo area, and it also has privacy shade. You can slide this back and put it, wedge it on, these, uh, on here, so that way you can hide your valuables. Uh, you got storage down here, okay? And then this slides along these tracks here in case you want to put, let's say, a, a basketball or something that's going to roll around a, a can of paint. You want to wedge it with that so that way it's not rolling around in your trunk. And that's why, that's how you can slide these and you can also remove it if you want to. Now, um, this this uh, cargo cover is removable, and uh, I don't know if you notice, you have a little, little latch there. Uh, that is to flip down that seat. So if you want to go into full cargo mode, you can remove um, you can remove this and that track, and then flip the seats down to go into a so, you know, so they can lay down. Well, they don't lay down completely flat, but pretty flat. All right, let's close it up up here. All right, uh, right rear tail light perfect shape. These are the parking sensors, the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. There are two on each side of the bumper. All right, the car just locked up because I kind of got away from it a little bit. All right, um, uh, rear wiper, the little orange lines which are your rear end of the froster. Nice 18 inch chrome wheels, the mission, uh, mission latitude tires. The tires are not new but they're still in good shape. They don't need to be replaced. Let me unlock it here. All right, um, right front door panel, perfect shape. Like I said before, you got power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on both sides, not just the driver's side. Let's pan over the passenger seating area from a different angle so you can see it's also in great shape. All right, let's do the right rear door. Perfect shape. I'm sure by now you've noticed that none of the panels have any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. None of the speaker covers are damaged. Give another look at the interior. The car's in really, really nice shape. And it's loaded up. Every every single option you could put on it, pretty much. All right. Um, 
Before we um, conclude the video, I want to briefly talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.